All right, welcome to the SAM Project A, or Project 1, for Module 10. This is the um, Eye Care Insurance, is what the project is called. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is a completing a form um, to fill out online. All right, so we're going to go jump right in. So the first step is changing the paper size. So we're going to come to our Layout tab, Size, and then it wants us to change it to the A5 paper size to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and then we want to change our page background. So design, page color, and then we're going to choose this, what is it, tan accent 4, lighter 80%. So here's our tan accent 4, lighter 80. All right. And then step three says add a content control for the first name as follows. So we're going to bring our insertion point right over here. Go to the developer tab. We're going to insert a plain text content control. And then it says in design mode edit the placeholder. So we're going to go to design mode. We're going to change that placeholder text to click here. Or type your first name. <clears throat> Period. All right. And then it says format the new content control using the strong style and lock the content. So we're going to turn off design mode, go to properties, we're going to use the strong style, and then content cannot be deleted. Okay. All right. Step four says add a content control for selecting the policy type. So it says what type insurance policies do you have with the eye care? Check all that apply. We're going to bring to this first far left cell over here. We're going to insert the checkbox. And this one says change the properties to use auto as the new tag. So we're going to go to properties. Our tag will be auto. <clears throat> and then it says choose the setting so that no border displays around the box. That's going to be our bounding box. We're going to say no bounding box. And then it says after the space, so we don't have to do anything else for this one. And then we're going to go hit end, end, space, and then auto. All right, so step five says add a content control for specifying another type of insurance. So right down here, and this one says after the other specify colon, insert a rich text content control. So here's our rich text con content control. We're going to and go to design mode and then change the wording of this direction right here. So it says click here to list other policy types. Period click here to list other policy types, period. All right, turn off design mode. <clears throat> Step six is add a content control for selecting a satisfaction rating. So overall, how satisfied are you? I'm going to bring our insertion point over here. And this one says, add a drop-down list content control. So we're going to come to our drop-down list content control. And then in the des uh, oh, we don't have to change this. Nope. All right. So this one says, after the text overall, how satisfied? Insert the drop-down content control. Don't allow the drop-down content control to be edited. So we're going to go to our properties. Content control cannot be edited. And then remove the default item. And then we're going to add 
the three items very satisfied. And it doesn't have to be title case, it's just going to be the first letter capitalized. So very satisfied. Then add somewhat satisfied. Okay, and then add not satisfied. <clears throat> Okay, and then okay. All right, then step seven says add a content control for indicating whether the customer would recommend the company. So right over here, we can enter a new drop down content control. And then this one says after the text, did you? Yep. Uh, insert the drop-down content control. Do not allow contents to be edited. So go into our properties. Say contents cannot be edited. Choose an item. Remove it. And then add the four items. Definitely, probably, not likely, and definitely not. So definitely, probably, not likely, and definitely not. <clears throat> okay, and then okay. Step eight says insert a content control for the date picker. So we're gonna choose our date picker. And this one says select the date format. So we're gonna go to our properties. And the date format is gonna be that month, 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 so the month spelled out, the date, and then there. Okay. And then it says remove all borders from the table. So we're going to go to our so for me this is the most problematic at times. Remove all the borders. <clears throat> And then it says, insert a rectangle. There's that. And then it says, insert a rectangle to separate the form. So we're going to insert the shape, rectangle, rounded corners. And we're going to put it around all of the content in the document. So it's going to be all of this stuff. Let's make sure we have the size correct. The size is going to be 4.1 by 7.8. Okay. And then it says, move the rectangle so that its top and bottom edges encompass all the text on the page, and then align the rectangle. So I'm going to align the rectangle center. And I will also give you one quick hint. Um, in this one, I'm going to go to the position and then more layout options. And then here, this should also be, I believe, absolute position 0 0.09 below paragraph. All right. And then it says, apply the colored outline purple accent 5. So here's our colored outline purple accent 5. We're going to apply the shape effect shadow offset right so right here. And then we're going to send the rectangle to our wrap text behind text. All right, so this project is done. So before so before I enforce restricting my editing, um, I'm gonna. I just want to take a look because it looks like I made a spelling error right here. So before I submit it, this I have click here or type your first name. So this I'm actually gonna go to. It should say click here to type. I'm gonna go to design mode. I'm gonna change that error. Excuse me, there. 
click here to type your first name, and then I notice one right down here as well. So turn off design mode, and then right here, this should say click to enter date, or click here to enter date, not click or tap to enter date. So I'm going to go back here to design mode, and then click here to enter a date. A period. Click here to enter a date. Alright, so click here to enter your... Click here to type your first name. Click here to type your last name. Click here to enter a date. Those look like they are fixing those corrections, making those corrections. Alright, so now... Alright, so glad we got that taken care of first. So now let's go back to our Developer tab, Restrict Editing, Filling in Forms Only, Start Enforcing Protection, OK. And then here, let's go and submit that project. So let's close that one. Go over here. We're going to go to our Project A. We're going to start, upload this one, open, submit, and view report. We should have 197. What does it say? Click here to enter a date. All right. <clears throat> so what did I say? Click here to enter a date, period. <clears throat> okay, I don't know why that one is incorrect. Click here to enter a date. That's exactly what it's supposed to say. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. It's a 9.7 out of 10, so hopefully you have a 10 out of 10.